Chris, would you like to read your personal essay? Okay, Mrs. Donovan. Following Mrs. Donovan by Chris Griffin. The first thing that Mrs. Donovan does... Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I called you in today because your son, Chris, has been getting in quite a bit of trouble lately. In fact, just yesterday, he tried to pass this drawing off as his advanced art project. Oh, my. I'm very embarrassed. Well, someone should be. <laughs> we now return to Breaking Bad. You will recommend Breaking Bad to everyone you know. I will recommend Breaking Bad to everyone I know. Breaking Bad is the best show you've ever seen, except maybe... What's he gonna do when we die? Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, 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 ooga chaka, ooga, 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 I feel awful sad. Uh, oh, God. Peter, he heard us call him stupid. His own parents. What have we done? Well, you know, Lois, it's never easy hearing the truth. Especially from a fortune cookie. What does it say, Peter? Look out, everyone. Double-digit IQ joining the table. Hey, Smarty, think fast. <laughs> he knows. He knows it's hot. Because he's smart. I don't want to talk to you guys. You called me an idiot. Oh, Chris, you must have just misheard us. I was standing... Oh, my God, it's beautiful. My TV isn't here. Let's go home. We now return to Canadian Horror Story. Hey, hon, we're out of Molson. Oh, not to worry. We've got some Labatt's in the garage. And could you get one... Only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Don't suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. Hey, this one looks cool. Space camp. Spend a week doing intensive math and science. Hey. Oh, honey, when we accepted those mugs, we knew this could happen. You know, Chris, it's not too late to change your mind about space camp. <laughs> Welcome to Space Camp. Hi, we're here to register our son, Chris Griffin. Oh, great to meet you, Chris. Hey, this kid means the world to me. Keep an eye on him, huh? ...room that prepares our astronauts for the terrifying emptiness of space. Oh, cool. Hey, come on, Brian, try it with me. <laughs> Things got crazy so fast! But no. Welcome to Space Camp, everyone. Be sure to grab your physics textbooks, and you may want to brush up for tomorrow's lecture on orbital dynamics. Oh, man, I don't belong here, and they know it. Every device on board this craft. What's this button do? Why don't you go ahead and push it? That's my band. Okay, campers, let's see your astronaut haircuts. Mm-hmm. Hello? Oh my god, Chris, what's wrong? Mom, I hate it here. I want to come home. All the kids are mean, and I keep messing everything up. Even J- Everybody's so mean, and there's this one guy who follows me around and calls me fat. Well, I suppose I- Hang on, honey, I'm getting another call. H hello Hey, is fat ass home yet? Put him on, I want to talk to him. Not interested. Listen, just so there are no surprises, don't be scared. My stuff looks like someone spilled an apple pie in my lap. Ugh, yuck. Didn't you have any fun at all, sweetie? Well, I guess I did get to go on the space shuttle every day. Well, I don't know what most of these buttons do, but I know this big red one is the one you press to launch. Ooh, big red button! Stewie, no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Chris, make it stop! I'm trying! I'm scared. I don't believe it. Are we really stuck in space? Oh, God, what if we have to live? I am stupid. Hello up there. Hello? I know you all must be pretty terrified right now, but we're doing everything in our power to get you safely back to Earth. We're pretty good at this. We're like six for eight. Is there anything we can do? I well, need you to go ahead and reply. I'm standing here at the home of the Griffin family, chatting with their neighbors. So the Griffins might be dead. How does that make you feel? Griffin dead? I take. No, no, they... So this is space.
damn it. <laughs> oh, there's a bag for that? Because mine's over there, twirling in the air like a slow baton. Well, someone's got to lead this marching band. Ew! Griffins, come in. Yes, yes, we're here. Well, I have some good news. The auto Is failure an option? No, it's not. Ah, that was my suggestion. All right, come on, everyone. we got to put our heads together and try to find a solution. Don't worry. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great-grandfather, who invented the... Okay, it's later than this. Yeah, yeah fa fast forward ahead. Forward. Forward. Keep forwarding. Is that woman gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having... Our thief! <gasps> Chris Gaines was Garth Brooks. I just figured that out. Oh, my God! Chris stole all that... You got me? You're kind of undoing everything you just did when you kicked my ass. I know. But I have to say for audience. Chris is still in his room with that disgusting homemade sex doll. He actually thinks it's his girlfriend. I know, it's weird. It's even weirder than that secret level in Donkey Kong. the model of a healthy marriage. Oh, boy. Is this because of the time I pushed off of you after sex and bruised your boob? No. I, I mean, when was the last time you bought me flowers? Or, or we had a date night? We do stuff. D just last week, I let you watch me complain after he touching one of the cabbages. Yeah. Oh, but I'm such a loser. She'll never let me do that. Come on, Chris. Don't sell yourself short. You are every bit as good as that bag of garbage. You really think so? Sure I do. Dig those fireman calendars. So we're gonna go inside and get some sexy shots of you doing fireman stuff. Wow, I am gonna have to write to somebody about this. Dear Penthouse, I used to think these letters were fake until my taped together soccer ball headed girlfriend fell in my lap. Hey, do we still have a magazine? Tell me about it? God, you're more annoying than a creative voicemail message. Joe is on a vacation far away. You call him up to talk it over. So many... Oh, Lois, thank God. Listen, I can't decide what I want for breakfast tomorrow. Can you make me a sample tray? You know what, Peter? I'm not talking to you right now. You screwed up bad with Chris, and you still haven't apologized for the way you treated me earlier. Oh, come on, Lois. I'll make it up to you. Before you say anything, I also got you a gift. It's a Katherine Heigl mask for you to wear while we have sex. She's perfect because she's only sort of hot, so there won't be this crazy disconnect of her face on your body, which would totally take me out of it. Also, it's designed so you can wear it on your... <laughs> I wonder if Cleveland's gonna want his sex back. Sound very sweet and romantic, Chris, and how a man should treat his woman. Oh, Lois, your breath smells like eggs. Talk that way. Chris, when you go on your picnic tomorrow, can your father and I come with you? Apples and oranges. People say we're different, but we're really not that different. Mm -hmm, yeah, we both work in marketing. We both lost children. We both own cars, but we like to take the bus. And we both cheat at words with friends. Oh, nice try. I certainly do not. And we're both going to have a big for his bed. Nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops are falling on my head. And they keep falling because I'm free. Oh, and I just helped him pick out that scarf. I miss her so much. I know, honey, but if you give it a little time, I'm sure you'll get over her. Huh? Just like you got over your hamster dance Tourette syndrome. Excuse me, Mom, could you please... Sometimes when life's got you down, you, you gotta stand up for a second. Like, like, just for a second. I've never felt this sad. Oh, looks like somebody could use a hug. <laughs> Oh, 
don't think guys should have two hands on a coffee mug ever. What? Mmm, <laughs> oh, yummy. Don't do that either. J just, just don't do anything. <laughs> Heather! Oh my god! I'm sorry, Chris. You... you did this? I did. Absolutely. And I know she'll make you very happy, too. You know, I don't think I need Heather anymore. You don't? No. I'm glad to hear that, Chris. Seems like... You know, Lois, I've been thinking about what you said, and I did learn a little something from watching Chris and Heather. You did? Yeah. From now on, I am going to be treating...